The law looks to give middle and high school students more sleep by pushing back school start times. Middle school can't begin class before 8 a.m. and high school students can't start until 830. To get the process rolling, the district is asking parents for their feedback on three different options. Tonight, the first of six meetings where Palm Beach County parents get their opportunity to pick one of three school start times. Option one would have elementary schools starting first at 7.30 a.m. High schools would follow at 8.45, then middle schools at 10.15. Middle schools would start first in option two at 8 a.m. High schools at 9.15 and elementary at 9.45. Option three would have high schoolers starting first at 8.30, elementary schools at 9, and middle schools at 10.20. Students like junior Ava Lapori says while the changes won't affect many current students, they're all for them. They all do agree on the time change for a later start time. Her mom, Lola, says she agrees and supports a time change but wants better options. Wow, well, that's tough because I don't think any of them were ideal. Because even though we want the high schoolers to start later, they do have many obligations after school. State Senator Lori Berman voted yes on the law change back in 2023 when it passed. She says lawmakers were following the science on more sleep and the benefit it has for developing minds. But with that said, she says it'll still be a challenge to implement. It's going to be hard. It's going to be a change for everyone. It's going to be a change for parents. It's going to be a change for teachers. It's a change for school bus drivers. Um, and we're going to have to figure it out. And for parents like Mark Hansen, he says it's just about sleep. I think it's kind of silly then. Now there will be five other meetings spread out throughout the county on this topic. We've posted the locations and the times for those on our website, and none of these changes would take any effect for two more years. In Wellington, Michael Hoffman, WPTV News.